Here's how I create realistic, consistent AI UGC avatars and turn them into complete ads from talking head videos to product holding shots, all without a camera, a crew, or paying a single influence. To do this, you don't need to know how to code, how to use Comfy UI, or even to have any prompt engineering experience. You just need to follow these simple steps to make AI UGC that looks 100% real. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step and something that so many people struggle with is creating realistic, consistent actors across shots. To do this, we're going to be using Nano Banana, which I'm using inside of Spiel. They have a free trial, and once you're in, select an avatar pre-built from the library. Pick one that fits the vibe of the product that you're going to be advertising. And if you don't have a product yet, don't worry about that. And once you have your base actor, click edit image, and this is where it gets fun. You can swap backgrounds like this, change lighting setups like this, and even add products directly into their hands like this. You can also change outfits using a reference photo of clothing, maybe a hoodie, gym fit, or something that matches your brand aesthetic. Now to keep everything consistent while still generating incredible videos, I built this free custom GPT that is trained specifically to write prompts for Nano Banana inside of Spill. It automatically keeps the same face, the same look, whilst allowing you to experiment with the angle and the setting. I promise it will save you a ton of time and give you the best results. It'll be linked in the description below. But don't just stop at backgrounds and outfits. Think like a director. Change the framing too. Make one tighter, more emotional for a face to camera moment. Then another that's a medium shot, perfect for product demos. And then a wide establishing shot that gives context like in a gym or kitchen or workspace. What you can do is preview each and every version and when you find one that looks great, save them because these will become the first frames for our videos. And here's the key, we're not just generating random variations, we're building a consistent actor that we'll be using across different shots and that is what brands pay for. Now that we have our consistent character shots, let's turn them into videos. First, I'm gonna show you how to create talking videos, and then I'm gonna show you how to create the most realistic product holding videos where the actor can shrink from the product, open it, or apply it naturally on camera. And we're gonna be doing both inside spiel. Let's start with the talking head videos for all the images that do not have a product in hand. The process is very simple. Just select one of the images you generated earlier and click custom mode. And we're gonna write out our script. And for this, we'll be using another free custom GPT that I've built, also linked in the description. It's designed to write short conversational ad scripts that feel natural, follow a proven storytelling structure and fit the length of Spiel's video generator. So you just need to answer these questions. What is your product or service? Who's your target audience? What's the dream outcome they want? How is your product better than others? Do you have any testimonials? And how long does it take to start seeing results? And just like that, we have a beautiful viral optimized script. We can copy and paste it in here and then add a prompt, something like talking naturally to the camera with dynamic hand gestures. And then we need to choose a voice. And this part is actually far more important than people realize. When you're picking a voice, think about the audience you're trying to appeal to. If you're making an energetic UGC ad, pick a voice that is fast paced and upbeat. If it's a brand explainer, choose something calmer and more clear. I'll preview a few of them so you can hear how they sound. And once you've got that right, lock it in. I kept seeing dermatologists online say this was I kept seeing dermatologists online say this was the moisturizer. I kept seeing dermatologists online say this was the moisturizer. Okay, this voice sounds 
perfect to me. So I'll select this and then I can actually come down to my script here where I can preview the audio of my video. Let's give this a listen. I kept seeing dermatologists online say this was the moisturizer to use and now I get it. I've spent hundreds trying to find some and just listen to how natural that sounds. It doesn't have that usual kind of AI tone. It genuinely feels like someone just read it out to me. If you're happy with your audio, just click generate and let the AI do the rest. Okay, so here is the finished video and honestly, it's pretty hard to believe that this came from a still image. I kept seeing dermatologists online say this was the moisturizer to use and now I get it. I've spent hundreds trying to find something that actually made my skin feel hydrated without breaking me out. Then I tried CeraVe. It's got ceramides and hyaluronic acid, fancy words that basically mean it strengthens your skin barrier and keeps moisture locked in. After just a few days, my skin felt softer and smoother. By week two, it actually looked healthy again. No burning, no irritation, just calm, glowy skin. And the best part, it's affordable and dermatologist developed. Thousands of five-star reviews weren't lying. If you want hydrated, fresh-looking skin without spending a fortune get this and here are a couple of other examples that i generated using the exact same process i use the same voice but in different scenes all with perfect consistency okay that is pretty insane but we're actually going to take things up a level and do some product holding videos and <laughs> believe me my friend this is where the realism kicks in now, a lot of brands and almost every physical product brand will want the actor to interact with their product in one way or another, be that taking a drink from it, opening something, applying something to their skin. And this has not been possible until quite recently, but it's what makes the ad feel so alive. And to do this, we're actually gonna switch over to easy mode inside of Spiel. It's built on top of VO 3.1, which gives you those ultra realistic movements, like just looking slightly away from the camera whilst they're thinking, brushing their hair behind the ear or touching the product. So it feels like a real person and not just an AI video. We will begin by selecting one of the images we generated earlier, same process, specifically one where the actor is already holding the product, and this will be the first frame of our video. And next we'll be using a third custom GPT, and you might be lost with all of these GPTs, don't worry, they're all gonna be in the description below. They're actually very, very straightforward to use. This one is built specifically for easy mode generation, trained on all of the official documentation on VO 3.1 from Google themselves. It is killer. It makes the most natural and lifelike movements that you will ever see. In this example, I'm gonna make the actor take a drink from the product. So I'll type something literally as simple as actor slowly raises the bottle to their mouth, takes a sip, lowers it and smiles. And then you'll see that the GPT will automatically structure this as a fully optimized prompt. It is ready to paste directly into Spiel. And once we have done that, we'll throw in our script and hit generate. What if you could drink without getting a hangover? Sounds impossible, right? Well, believe me when I say you're gonna watch this. And there it is, smooth motion, perfect hand tracking, natural lighting, and all generated from a single still image. And you can do the exact same thing with other actions too. You can apply a cream, open a product, do exercise whilst they're filming. Your imagination is the limit. Anything that fits the scene that you are creating. But remember, even if the visuals look perfect, if the audio doesn't sound convincing, it doesn't matter. I actually made a full video breaking down how to fix the kind of AI sounding videos. I'll link that in the description, but here is an example of what it sounds like after the audio has been fixed. Listen to how the only audio is my voice, but in reality, it would be pretty noisy. 